<coughs> what up guys, it's Corey Reef for back to another episode. And I'm here to bring you another uh, very informational and educational video. I recently had a request from a from a, a now good buddy of mine. His name is JW Price and I've also noticed this within also friends and family members that are also afflicted by cerebral palsy. Um, most people are un unaware of the disease and if you see somebody you'll be likely to mock them and that's very childish, that's that's bullshit. Picking on anybody for their disability or mental illness is fucking cowardice. Don't fucking do that. You're a piece of shit. You do. That's just a disclaimer. I wanted to get that off my chest. Because I've dealt with that myself and I know many people that have dealt with that and it's it's bullshit. I just wanted to get that off my chest. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how uh, cannabis can help those with cerebral palsy. And it, it really depends on the severity of the case of cerebral palsy you have. And I'm just going to go over a little information for those that don't know. <clears throat> and then I'll get on to how it can possibly help you. So cerebral palsy is a general term for a group of permanent non-progressive movement disorders that cause physical disability and development, mainly in the areas of body movement. It is essential motor dysfunction affecting muscle tone, posture, and movement, resulting from a permanent non-progressive defect or lesion of the immature brain. Cerebral palsy is neither genetic nor infectious disease, and thus it is not contagious. Most cases are congenital, meaning it, it arises at or about the time of birth and are diagnosed at a young age rather than during adolescence or adulthood. Cerebral refers to cerebrum, which is, a, which is the affected area of the brain. The disorder may often involve connections between the cortex and other parts of the brain, such as the cerebellum. The term palsy in modern language refers to, to, the, to the disorder of the movement, but the word root palsy technically means paralysis, even though it is not used as such within the meaning of cerebral palsy. <clears throat> cerebral palsy is caused by damage to the motor, motor control centers of the developing brain and can occur during pregnancy, during childbirth, or even after birth up to about age 3. Resulting limits in movement and posture cause activity limitations and are often accompanied by disturbances of s s sensation depth perception and other sight-based perceptual problems and communication ability. Impairments can also be found in the, con in the co cognition and ep epilepsy is found in about one-third of cases. Cerebral palsy is often in uh, musculoskeletal problems. Cerebral palsy's nature as a broad category means it is defined mostly via several different subtypes especially the, the types featuring spasticity and also mixtures of those subtypes. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail because you should do your own research and I'm sure if you do have cerebral palsy you will have enough education on your disorder. And like I said before it really depends on how severe your case is that if cannabis can help you. I know a friend that has a very mild case. He's gone through a few surgeries and he's fine. He's not on any um, steroids or medications, and he only walks with a limp. And he has one leg that's longer than the other, but you can't really do anything with that. In. And he's fine without medication. But there's also cases where you, you'll have uh, severe muscle spasms, and even worse cases where you're bound in a wheelchair and that's how bad your muscles are cramping up. So when you use cannabis, the CBD can actually relieve that muscle tension. More research really needs to be done in that, but of course the US government is prohibiting that. But I can tell you from personal experience, from my Tourette's, I have severe muscle tension and tics, and my tension is absolutely relieved when I take a token of cannabis. And of course, in the Below, I'm going to link a bunch of different videos. There's an in incredible video I saw of this woman, uh, Kathleen, and it it broke my heart watching it. I 
I'll admit it, I, I actually cried when I saw it because she's in a wheelchair and she has her care worker with her and he's the one that offered her cannabis. And while she's in this chair, her muscles in her face and all over her body are so tense, she can barely talk. And they had to subtitle it. And you can see, she, she got so happy when she was talking about cannabis. And meanwhile, she's probably in her 50s. And she's talking about cannabis. And she got so excited. And she said that when she smoked, she could actually talk. And she wouldn't have to repeat herself. But the part that really broke my heart is when she said she can't always get it. There's people with severe medical problems, going through severe pain. And because of prohibition, these people are limited from the medicine that they truly need. Now, like I said before, more research needs to be done into the actual way of how CBD does relieve the muscle tension. I, I'm very curious. I'd love to know. Um, I, I'll also link videos to SC Laboratories and they do very, very uh, amazing videos on the different cannabinoids. But really, it's a lot of doing your own research and we just need to keep fighting for cannabis because there is a lot of medical benefits. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, <laughs> I'm, I missed a lot of the other parts. <laughs> um, it, I, I should note that in most cases for cerebral palsy, in severe cases, they will they will give you steroids, uh, hydrocortisone steroids, and not only do they they not help with the pain, they don't help with the spasticity, and they're very dangerous to the body. <laughs> the cannabis is much much stronger than hydrocortisone steroids, and it's much safer. And you can use it in a much safer way. You don't even have to smoke it. You can vaporize it. You can eat it as an edible. You can have it in, in a tincture. You can put it in a lotion. So for anybody that's against legalization because everybody's going to be smoking it, there's different ways to administer medication. And if you really want to have an open mind, you have to do the research. So, and if you have cerebral palsy and you live in this state, or in Canada where it is legal but we're still fighting the system. Talk to them about cannabis, see how it can possibly help you, and do the research yourself. Do more research, let alone this video. This is just a start to open your mind. So please, let's let's medicate and let's educate. I hope you found this video great. Have a great day guys. Peace.